this is a continuation of my uh, backpacking survival kit. Uh, in my uh, previous video, I talked about my baseline survival pack, survival kit that I carry with me. And uh, it's, this was the, all the items that were in it was the uh, emergency bivy sack, uh, a light or in a, a battery light and a snap light, a fire steel with some wet fire tinder and a little water filtration straw. Uh, those basic things would I, I consider my most basic kit. It all fits into one of these ultimate dry sack, ultimate dry stuff sacks, and uh, so I take and carry this with me. So uh, from here, uh, uh, I've gotten questions too about well, what other things might you consider? You know, obviously you can get very you can get crazy pretty fast. The idea here is to try to this is something you're going to carry with you away from base camp or on a day hike. So you want to keep it you know as small as possible. I consider you know you got shelter, light. Uh, fire, water filtration, pretty much everything you need right there. Uh, but if you want, if you want more things, here's the other things that I'd pretty much, uh, that I've considered, you know, to, to include into the pack. Uh, if you want additional shelter, uh, a real popular item is to use some kind of a, uh, some kind of an emergency shelter tent, uh, like these tube tents. Uh, these are really lightweight. This one's. Uh, really designed for two people but you can use it as a uh, as a ground tarp it's uh, it's about eight feet long it's uh, it's made out of pretty it's lightweight but pretty strong 2.5 mil polyethylene and it comes with a 25 foot cord on it obviously it's just a it's just a tube uh, of, of this of this sheet that's eight feet long and you run a cord through it to hang it from you know, two trees, or if you've got your hiking poles, which is why I carry my hiking poles with me, uh, you can you can support this thing. Again, waterproof, windproof. You know, it's a little more bulky. You know, it's lightweight, but it's a little bulkier. Um, options to this are just pretty much any kind of uh, any kind of sheet, uh, plastic sheet that you want to bring with you. Um, a popular option for a lot of people is a product called Tyvek. T Y V E K. Tyvek is a plastic. Uh, building material, plastic sheeting building material that they wrap buildings in during construction. It's uh, vapor permeable, water vapor permeable, so it'll let water vapor out, but it keeps liquid water, uh, it uh, won't let liquid water in, so it's a good option. You can get a sheet of that, um, you know, and carry some, carry some rope with you sometimes. Uh, if you do that, uh, uh, even with something perhaps like this or just a standard sheet of product, I, you know, I would recommend you have some kind of a uh, system to clamp to the sheet. Uh, this is a little; these are just a few pennies at uh, uh, at like Home Depot or most builder stores, hardware store. It's a little plastic clip. You can clip it on. You can clamp it onto your to the sheet, lock it down, and be at a tie-on spot. Makes it really handy. So if you've got just a square sheet of plastic, you can keep uh, you know two, three, four of these in your pack. They went they don't weigh anything. Makes it nice to have you know clamping or tie-on spots. The other thing uh, that you might want to consider is uh, food, and if you have food, um, you know, in my pack, uh, I didn't discuss this in my previous uh, survival kit that I would carry, but what I will throw in here, pretty much like the day or two before I go, is I'll just throw a couple of, of the uh, you know energy bars in here. Uh, you know, the energy bars by themselves don't have a really long shelf life. They're pretty good. You know, you wouldn't leave them out for years. But I'll throw a couple in there just to have some, you know, if I need to have some food to snack on, uh, you know, just to help me out. Um, you know, if you're really into it and you want something, you know, really long shelf life, you can get, you know, the type of the actual survival bars, the, like Mayday makes the emergency food rations. Uh, this is 1,200 calories. Um, it says one day survival, you know, 1,200 calories. You could actually probably break that in half and go for a couple of days easy on that. It's kind of heavy, you know. Says apple cinnamon. Don't know how don't know how tasty it is. I've never eaten one of these, but it's got a five-year shelf life. So if you want to throw it in there, great. You can do that. The other things you might consider uh, if you are uh, carrying a uh, uh, a tarp type thing. You, if you're making your own type shelter system, you know some extra some cord. Uh, I also uh, would consider bringing along maybe just a handful of some some tent stakes to help you stake things down, especially if you're in an area where if you're having to use a tent, uh, you know, hiking pole and you don't have a lot of uh, trees or shrubs or whatever to tie this, tie something down, or trying to keep just things windproof. You know, this is just from an old uh, MSR tent that I had, very lightweight, uh, some, some tent stakes. Um, if you're trying to make your own, if you don't, if you don't have a, one of these that comes with a cord, uh, this is 
I think this is actually 50 feet I've got right here, but you know, you can get 25, 50 feet. This is just paracord. You can buy this online at places like Sportsman's Guide and a bunch of other places. It's very inexpensive, very strong, lightweight, 1,001 uses. So maybe get yourself some of that and some of that and the clamp and some stakes. You can take a regular, just a plain piece of sheet uh, plastic and make yourself a nice shelter tarp. Um, the other thing um, that I uh, didn't show in my previous kit that I actually forgot that I do keep with me is uh, is one or two of these. These are this the uh, disposable uh, uh, warmers hand uh, hand or, or you know pocket warmers. They're basically you know you tear the packet open, you shake them up. It works on a chemical reaction. It starts warming. It'll make about 125 to 150 degrees. Uh, and it'll burn. It says 24 hours. I've seen these things stay hot for that long, but you could, but you could uh, be assured that for about 12 to 15 hours, this thing is going to be warm. Um, if you are in a situation where you're trying to maybe you know ward off hypothermia or something, you can take one of these, shake it up, toss it down inside your bivy bag, and uh, and it'll really help you out a lot. Uh, and then uh, and and that's what I would consider to have you know additionally in, into my pack. You know, my, if I was going to expand my survival kit, you know, I pretty much don't have this. But if I had, uh, you know, if I had the tube, if I had the tube tent with me, I'd have that. You know, I don't like I said, I don't carry this, but I have this, these types of things. So I take all of this and I add it together. You know, um, at that at this point, I'll expand, go beyond this pack, and I'll move it up to the next size. You know, the the four liter. Pack. The other thing I forgot to mention, the nice thing about these things is something else to remember is that if you are trying to if you are trying to collect water, not all these things are, are these things waterproof from the outside. You know they're waterproof from the inside. And what I mean by that, obviously, is you can fill this full of water. You know, and treat your water, or do whatever you need. You can actually carry water in these. So and you know, clamp it down and you know have a waterproof bag to carry water around in. So if you're if you're trying to do that, so that's another handy use of these ultimate dry sacks. Um, the uh, people have asked me about about first aid kits. Um, you know, the problem with first aid kits is that you know your first aid kit can quickly grow beyond the size of your actual survival kit. So I'll pretty much just carry. Frankly, I'll carry a few band aids in my pocket. You know, um, and uh, maybe one or two. You know, just a slightly larger band aids for you know a larger abrasion or larger cut. Just to again, the idea is you know get me through the night. Beyond that, that's pretty much what I have. Uh, uh, and I've shown I've, in a lot of this. I've shown you, uh, you know, a lot of kind of you know what I would consider the expensive way. You know, the, the heat sheet bivy bags are about um, fifteen bucks, and you've got about five bucks or so in the tent. All of this stuff, I would add everything up that I would have in here with uh, for all of this stuff. You're probably talking seventy-five to hundred bucks. Uh, but on the same vein, you could do the same thing with all of this. You know, go you know, go lower, um, uh, you know, less expensive routes, and you could pretty much put together kind of a do-it-yourself, lower cost. You can get these for you know a couple of bucks. Uh, you can make your own tarp. Um, you can uh, instead of having you know a, you know a fifteen-dollar flashlight, you can have a two-dollar flashlight. Instead of a wet fire cube, you could have a cotton ball with some with some uh, Vaseline on it. Um, if you're trying to filter water. Instead of having one of these or something, you could carry, you know, just a uh, coffee filter. You know, it won't be quite as good, but you know, it's still better than nothing. And these are obviously cheap. Um, you could have, uh, uh, you know, you know, a variety of different things. So, you know, you could put a similar kit like this together for probably twenty-five to thirty bucks. Um, you know, without having to have all the kind of the high dollar, if you will. Not that this is very expensive, but. You know something more uh, more affordable. So a lot of options, but I think between these two videos, you kind of get a good idea of what's uh, what's a good idea to carry with you. Again, keep it light, keep it simple. Something you're going to carry with you. If you don't have it with you, it's not a survival kit. Thanks for watching.